Okay, so this is Windows 10 running on my Raspberry Pi 4, and uh, it runs really well now, it keeps getting better, but uh, the one thing we've never had is uh, Wi-Fi support, proper Wi-Fi support, uh, which isn't a problem to me because I have an Ethernet cable. I bought an, a long Ethernet cable specifically for this case, but uh, I want to try and get it up and running with Wi-Fi. And I had a comment from Andrew McNaughton, and uh, he suggested a Vonitz Wi-Fi to Ethernet adapter, uh, which is what this is. So let's plug it in and see how it sets up. Okay, so the way this cable works, uh, we've got USB which powers the device. Uh, you can unplug this and use power through that as well, uh, but I'm just gonna use the USB socket. So let's plug that in. I'm gonna plug it into the USB too, because it's only powering it. You can see it's lit up now. We've got, we've got various different lights, and then we've got an Ethernet connection. So let's plug that one in as well. I haven't done any setup to this at all. All I've done is just unplugged it, and that's it. So let's switch over to screen capture. Okay, so you can see that it's picked up the network. Do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network? I'll say yes. Okay, so we need to open up a web browser and we need to put in a web address, 192.168.2.2.2. And this is the web address of the Vonitz device. So basically this is being supplied by the device. I'm not online now. Um, this is the same sort of way you'd set up a router where you log into the device and then change some settings. So now we've got a login and uh, the username is admin and the password is admin. Uh, and you can see I had my caps lock on before so it didn't work for me. Admin and admin, hit login. And I'll say save to that, that's fine. So we're going to the wizard and we'll select Wi-Fi bridge. So it's come up with some devices, but none of those are mine, so I'm gonna do F5 to refresh, and hopefully it'll come up with my router. So you can see now, uh, after I've refreshed, it's come up with a load of options, but these are all 2.4 gigahertz networks. So if your network doesn't show up, uh, you might have to enable 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, most routers now are five gigahertz, and also allow you to use 2.4 gigahertz, but it is a setting on your router to enable that. Uh, so anyway, I'll click on this one and hit next. I need to put my password in, which I'll have to look up because I can't remember it. So I put my password in and I'm gonna hit apply. To make the new parameters effective after the parameters are configured, click reboot, so let's click reboot. The lights have gone off and come back on again. You can see here the device is rebooting. Please wait one minute before you can log in again. Okay, so that's restarted. Still got no internet access listed here, but that might change after a few seconds. I think I'm tempted to restart the computer, see if that's enough. Okay, so it's restarted. It did come up with a load of messages, and you can see I've got a lot of flashing lights. But also at the bottom of the screen, I have an Ethernet symbol, so I'm guessing that's working. So let's switch back into screen capture again. Okay, so let's log in. And if we hover down the bottom, network internet access. So let's open up a web browser. Let's do my usual search of hot UK deals. Yeah, so it's working. That's a great solution. And uh, well, let's go. Let's go to their site. Uh, so, so let's go to the Amazon site, uh, which is where I bought mine. And uh, they talk about various different things. There's loads of different modes on this as well. I I bought this. I haven't I haven't been sent this to test. I, I just thought it was uh, it was relevant for my Windows 10 videos. But I see here they've got the same Xbox 360 as me, uh, and so this can be used for pretty much any device that has an Ethernet connection. I also have an original Xbox. Uh, I've got a PS3, but not that one. I've got the one of the the PS3 Slim. I think I've got so devices that didn't come with Wi-Fi, uh, and this would be the same with TV boxes. Uh, so I have a Freeview recorder, uh, which doesn't have Wi-Fi. I could just plug that in. But it also means uh, if you regularly switch operating systems, it's just more handy uh, to have it 
as Wi-Fi, but you can just plug it in because obviously the router is configured. It's configured now. So anytime I start it up in any device, as long as it's got power, it will start itself up. It will log on to my Wi-Fi, but then it will supply an Ethernet connection to whatever device it's plugged into. That is, that's impressive. I'm, I actually really like that. I'll put a link in the description to the device. Uh, so thanks very much for the comment for letting me know about it. It was, uh, it, I think it is a good solution for Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi. Until we get drivers, it's definitely a great way of doing it. Let's do a speed test. I haven't done a speed test for ages. Now, obviously, this depends on your internet. So if I do speedtest.net Vodafone, Twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Be interesting to see. I'll plug in my uh, Ethernet cable, which is plugged directly into my router, actually uh, through a switch, but um, pretty direct. Uploads all right. Fourteen. And on my network at the moment, uh, my daughter's doing her schoolwork, so she'll be in a Teams meeting, uh, and my son will be doing uh, whatever the college uses for their system. Uh, so 29711544. So I'm going to unplug my Ethernet cable now. So you'll see at the bottom right of the screen, we've lost internet. And I'm going to plug in my very long, well it's, it's very long, it's about, about 10 meter, I think, Ethernet cable. Uh, so that's plugged in. You can see that's come up. Uh, let's refresh that and let's try again. <laughs> it's slower, isn't it? <laughs> okay. That wasn't really expected. Oh, it's picking up. Oh, it's pretty similar. And I pay for 79 megabits, I think. Um, so obviously different times of the day, different use on the network, what my neighbors are doing, things like that, it all it all takes its toll. They upload slower as well. So my long ethernet cable isn't as good as this Vonnet's uh, Wi-Fi device. I am in the same room. Uh, this is about a 22 foot room and my router is the other side of the room. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's actually better results on the Vonnets. Well, that wasn't, that wasn't expected. So let's close that down. Just to let you know, this, this version of Windows 10 is the one from the Discord. This is the custom version that they create on the Discord uh, with all sorts of tweaks and things, but I've got other videos on that. Uh, and I've also got a video of doing straightforward Windows uh, and how to do the full setup on that as well. So how about my 1998 Compaq, uh, which has an Ethernet socket on the side. Uh, let's plug that in. Oh, and straight away the symbol on the bottom right disappeared. I haven't connected this to the internet uh, for obvious reasons, so let's just zoom in a bit. Yeah, definitely something changed on the bottom corner there. Add your .NET passport. Well, let's close that down. And let's just open up a browser. And I've got other videos on this if you're interested in this laptop. Uh, it is, it's a great laptop. Right, so Internet Explorer. Microsoft.com. Just thinking about it. It says internet down here. So it says done, but there's nothing there. So I'm just gonna try something like google.co.uk. Oh, it's a great keyboard on this laptop. Oh, it's, we're in. So, Compaq Armada E500. The PSP video. When you send information to the internet, it might be possible for others to see that information. Do you want to continue? Don't bother sharing that message. I'll say yes. Oh, we're there, look. And it's found my YouTube video. It's not going to play a YouTube video, though, surely. That 33 pound retro gaming laptop, that's me. Uh, so let's click on that. Don't share this warning, okay. Oh, page is not available. Okay, well, it got some internet to it. 
uh, on a 1998 laptop. I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, so, and this is running XP. Let's try it with uh, Windows 98, I think I've got on here. What's making a funny noise? So when it starts up, I've got this on dual boot. Uh, so I think the default is Windows 98. Yeah, Windows there. Oh, XP was the default. And this actually runs surprisingly all right. Again, all the specs and everything are in my other video. I'll link the videos to this. Okay, so we have Internet Explorer. I might wait for it to Oh no, it seems to have, seems to have started up all right. Carmageddon on there. Let Dave Mira freestyle BMX. Uh, so let's try into the Explorer. Oh, hold on. Oh, I want to connect through a local area area network. Oh, this might not be so straightforward. <laughs> I might not bother with this. I'll try it as network. Let's just let it do its auto stuff. I don't want to do internet mail account now. Access denied. So if I do dot UK. Oh, and we're in. The PSP video. It's actually working all right. Uh, so let's go for images. Yeah. Well, that's not bad, is it? Yeah, I'm impressed with this adapter. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.